Here's Griner going in for the throwdown. Houston rumbling through, finds Griner for the dunk. And that's what the sellout crowd was waiting for. Say what's up, Jamal? What's good, y'all? I'm not. That's all I got. Baby, you know. A few moments later. A while ago. Uh, you were 18 years old. Yeah. And I just remember you were terrified. Your voice was shaking. So hopefully this one will go a little better. Oh, no. This one will <laughs> definitely so go scared. better. Yeah, no. You helped me out a lot. I remember it. You gave me really good tips and everything. Yo, YouTube, YouTube. What's going on? Trade back again. Did y'all another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all are having a very great week also. My day is going absolutely magnificent. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers, other Trey King Show family. And much love to each and every last one of you all. And you all. We have a story about Brittany Griner. Yes. And I want to thank the subscribers and also the channel members of the Trey King Show for sending me this story and asked me about this uh, important development that is going on basically with Brittany Griner, trying to see if she's a Joanna man. Now, before I start the story, I want to let you all know that personally, I don't know if she's a man or a woman, but it is looking kind of very skeptical because you have to ask yourself this right here. Say what's up, Jermaine? What's good, y'all? That's all I got. What kind of woman talks like this and has a voice that deep? And also, what kind of woman is shaped like this? And what woman do you know of that has no breasts? I mean, Brittany's chest is flat as my little brother's chest. And no, I cannot show her without a shirt on. And yes, I did say her because, like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't know if she's a man or a woman. I'm going to leave that up for you all to judge or whatnot. But the reason I cannot show her because I don't want nobody sitting up here saying and flagging me to YouTube saying Trey is showing flat-chested women. You know, they might give me for uh, nudity or something like that, even though it does like a man chest. I mean, they got bare-chested men all over YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? But the fact that Brittany Griner is supposed to be, quote-unquote, a woman... I cannot show that. So if you want to see that, it's on my uh, Instagram page. And also, it's all over Twitter. You can go look it up. Now, I know a lot of you all know already that Brittany Griner was held in a Russian prison for about 10 months, where she was caught allegedly trying to smuggle some kind of cannabis vape cartridges into Russia. And she was locked up for that. They sentenced Brittany to nine years. And everybody was sad. Even I was sad. Like, that's a lot of time for some damn vape pens. But we already know how these other countries be with the war on drugs. So they sentenced Brittany Griner to nine years in a Russian prison. So, lo and behold, just a few months after they sentenced Brittany Griner, we hear a story of her being allegedly released. And she was released last week. The thing that got me shocked and raised a lot of suspicion was the person that the Russian government traded with the United States government for. They traded Brittany Griner, yes, with a known international armed smuggler. And I don't know if you all ever seen that movie, Lord of War with Nicolas Cage. And that movie shows exactly what an international armed smuggler is. So why would America trade a known terrorist back to Russia for Brittany Griner, a WNBA player? I want you all to think about that also, because I could have sworn that back in the early 80s, that President Ronald Reagan coined the phrase that we do not negotiate with terrorists. Should that exchange be made? Should that kind of a swap be entertained with terrorists? You know our policy on that, uh, Michael. We don't, uh, we don't either negotiate or uh, make exchanges or pay ransoms. I think that was him and also President George Bush that said that also that we do not negotiate with terrorists. So you mean to tell me that a WNBA player is that important when you all would trade her with the Russian government? And the person they trade Brittany Griner for was a known notorious armed smuggler. So you have to take that in consideration also. But a lot of people missed that point right there. So make sure y'all go check that movie out with Nicolas Cage, Lord of War, and it will show you exactly the type of person that the United States government traded Brittany Griner for. And if that don't raise suspicion, nothing else will. But more than that, it's raising a lot of people's suspicion. Now, people have been suspicious about Brittany Griner for years. It's not like this is just new development. They've been saying this for a few years now. But... Due to the fact more things is coming out, more people are becoming aware of certain issues or whatnot. Now, what really shocked me, not only the fact that the government did business with a known terrorist or whatnot, and they say they don't, but what raised more suspicion was the fact of these photos that show Brittany Ground allegedly with an Adam's apple. And I want to ask you all, do you think that's an Adam's apple? Because clearly, it looked like one to me. So you all let me know what you think about that, but please make sure you go check those pictures out on Twitter. But anyway, we're going to break the rest down as I read a quick snippet from the story. I'm going to read a quick snippet from the story, and I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm. 
Surely, as we go, it's Brittany Griner and Juana Man. I don't know. You all let me know. But it goes, and this story right here is really trying to take up for Brittany, but I'm going to say it anyway. It goes, since then, she has been in two same-sex relationships as a male partner. Get that? As a male partner. It also says, the Center for the Phoenix Mercury Basketball Club is not concerned about what people think about her. They have to put that out there, too. You have to be careful of the way people word things. That's why I read some of this stuff out to you all, so you all can become more aware on certain things. And the story goes on also to say, and she seems satisfied with the way she has turned out. I don't know if they mean turned out, you know, for as getting a sex change or turned out for as growing up. But it's very suspect because, like I said, I don't know no woman with a damn throat like that. I don't know any woman with an Adam's apple. Number one, you wouldn't be a woman. And number two, I don't know any woman with a chest like that. And also for you doubters out there, after you all see Brittany Ground without her shirt on because she has countless photos of her without her shirt on ask yourself this number one what woman is shaped like that and also what woman breast is shaped like that because that's clearly not a breast that's just a regular man's chest anyway let's continue now the story goes on and says as if that was not enough Brittany was strikingly stronger get it and tougher than what you would expect then from most female in that gender then it goes on to say needless to emphasize how brutal it can get at high school and Griner took a lot of blows during her days at Nimitz. Now, Brittany Griner played basketball at Aldean Nimitz School and also for Baylor University where she broke all kinds of NCAA records. But I don't understand how people can be so blind to a lot of things. And once again, I am not saying that she is a man because I don't have no proof of her being a man. But what I'm saying is this right here. If it sounds like a duck, if it quack like a duck, what is it? Is it a cat or a dog? I don't know. You all let me know. But anyway, let's continue. Now, the story goes on to say this right here, because they leave a lot of clues in these stories also that a lot of you all will catch on. It says, the giant female basketball player prefers to dress like a man, and only those who know her very well can tell that a woman is behind those trousers. You get it? Now, when have you ever heard them speak of a woman in this manner right here? You get what I'm saying? So you have to be careful because the news poke fun at a lot of people, you know what I'm saying? And also, the media poke fun at the people because they understand a lot of people out here are asleep. That's why they call the people sheeple. You know what I'm saying? Sheep. You led to the slaughter every time and not even waking up. And then the story goes on to say career accolades that makes people think Brittany Griner is a man. Now they're going to tell you what you are thinking. They're going to tell you why you think Brittany Griner is a man. So listen to this. It says the reason people started thinking of Brittany Griner as a man is because the WNBA star has done what no female player has ever done before. And she accomplishes all these feats with ease. It should be easy. And let me tell you all something from what I know from the last 20 years is that men have been playing in women's sports. They have men playing in women's sports right now. You call them uh, transgenders or whatnot. So they have men playing actually in women's sports. They have one boxing beat the hell out this woman. Like how y'all gonna let a man born genetically a man just because he identifies a transgender or whatnot. You let him get in the boxing ring, fight this woman, and then you find out really what it's all about. You find out that men and women are not the same. This man damn near killed this woman in that boxing ring. And I'm sure a lot of you all have seen that. And boxing is not even the only sport. They have boxing, MMA, and also, yes, I hate to say it, tennis. And we're going to leave it at that. But anyway, let's continue. Now, you see this picture of Lisa Leslie, and Lisa Leslie was six foot five. Actually, I thought Lisa Leslie was like seven foot, but come to find out, was no female basketball player that tall have ever been that tall. So Lisa Leslie is six foot five. But one thing you notice about Lisa Leslie is what? Yeah, she's tall and slim, have wide shoulders, but she's a woman. And also what you see, she has breasts. Now, if you look at that shape compared to Brittany Griner's chest, you don't see any kind of formation of a breast. You see basically what you're looking at as a male chest. And once again, I'm not saying that Brittany Griner is a man, but just open your eyes and look, people. Anyway, now also I want to ask you all, we have seen Candace Parker dunk before. We have seen Lisa Leslie dunk before. And big shout out to them both. Now, I want to ask you this. Have you ever seen a woman dunk like this? Brittany Griner dunk just like she was Shaquille O'Neal. Never have we ever seen a woman dunk like this with that much authority and the story goes on also to say that Griner became the first in the history of the ncaa basketball to block 500 shots and score 2,000 points that's outstanding for a woman huh and no woman has ever come close to that before breaking the ground so i mean can't you all see certain things leading up to you know 
a conclusion, if you will. So what I'm trying to tell you all of this is use your thinking caps. Put on your thinking caps. And remember this phrase also, it was coined by Shakespeare hundreds of years ago. Even he knew the world's a stage and everybody has a part to play. I have a part to play. Brittany evidently has a part to play. And you have a part too. But remember this also, everything is not always as it seems. And just because somebody tell you something and show you something does not mean that's how it is. Anyway, let's close up. The story goes on to say this also, and check this out. Brittany's athletic prowess in the bodybuilding of a buddy male college basketball star brought her gender into questioning. I'm sure it did. And it goes on also to say her irk is something that has never been witnessed in the entire world of women's basketball. In fact, she is referred to as the first man to ever play in the Women's Basketball Association. It says it right there in black and white. And then it goes on to give you her body dimension. It says this right here, that Brittany Griner will remain the only. Now, how are you going to say that Brittany will remain the only female basketball player to ever? It's like they already know. To ever stand at six foot nine inches. And remember, the tallest before then, I think, was Lisa Leslie at six foot five with 93 kilograms of body weight. Her wingspan of 88 inches is unheard of in the WNBA. That's because that's men wingspan. Men have bigger shoulders and longer arms than women. And also, if you see this picture right here, tell me why Brittany Griner's hand is bigger than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's hand. And women have smaller hands than men by nature. You get what I'm saying? And then they add this point in there also that you all probably didn't catch. Her shoe size is U.S. size 17 for men. Now, what woman you know, no matter how big, how funny she looked, wear a size 17 shoe? That's damn near Shaq size right there. Now, I want you all to really think about this for a second right here. Now, what sense does it make for the U.S. government to trade a known terrorist back to their country of Russia for a WNBA basketball player? Just think about that for a second. Like, Really, is a sports player that much important for you to trade a known international terrorist? Like, let's be for real. A lot of people did not even catch that, but hopefully you all will catch that today. And like I said, I am not calling Brittany Griner a man. It just, it's a lot of, it's just too many damn circumstances. You know what I'm saying? When you have a lot of coincidences and a lot of things just don't seem right, evidently something is not right. But what woman, in closing, like I told you all at the beginning of the video, have a voice this deep? Say what's up, man. What's good, y'all? Oh my God. I mean, she have a perfect pitch and cadence of a man. And like I said, you all have to open your eyes. But I'm going to leave you all with this right here. A lot of stuff you all see on the news is already rigged up. It's already set in motion. And it's like they just play with the people intelligence because they think we all are dumb and we all are not awoke. Now, I want you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about this. Do you think Brittany Griner is a man or woman or a transgender or what? Because evidently something is not right. And what woman parades around with her shirt off like that, even though that chest is flat as hell? I mean, my little brother got a chest bigger than that. And once again, Brittany, if you see me in Houston, please don't beat my butt. I'm just doing what the people say. It's the subscribers' fault and also the channel members. They told me to do this video. So if you catch me slipping, please take it easy on me. But anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me and we can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed. And I will see you all soon on the next Trey King Show. And guess what? I'm out.